The specifics of a listening bar in Barcelona have to be very different from the ones from the original birthplace of listening bars in Japan, where records are played with ceremony and people are almost silently listening. Here, we are in a Mediterranean city. At some point, people want to chat, and that's fine, as long as the music is always the, the main ingredient. It has to do with the time that you've invested in a room. So these guys in Japan, like, devote their lives to, like, finding the best conditions. So, you know, it's a lifetime thing. I'm Guille de Juan. I'm the manager of Curtis uh, Listening Bar. For a very long time, I've been carrying my record box around the city. I could feel that there was a need for a place that it's, it's not a proper dance club, but it's a place where the sound, the quality of the sound, and the musical program is being cared for with detail and with much attention. I had reference that these uh, places already existed for a long time in Japan and they were starting to pop up in different cities around the world. So I thought it would be nice to open one in, in Barcelona. The first one that opened before Curtis was Nika the sound system there, it's, it's amazing. It's definitely also for us like an inspiration. My name is uh, Ines Mirosans and I'm the co-owner of uh, Casa Bonai. I basically run all the creative content of the brand. Nika was created as the theater of the hotel. As all the things we do here in Casa Bonai, there's always some reason behind, and there's always an intention behind every detail that you connect with something. So for me, Nikai was a way to connect with music uh, that I've never experienced before. How it all came together it was through Danny, when he introduced me that concept in London from Anish and Amit, Brilliant Corners, and they were totally aligned in the way we do things. My name is Daniel Bauchmann, and I've been working on Booking Nika since it was launched um, in April 2018. You have the bar space where you can like socialize and drink and you know meet people. And then you go into the sound room. This age of multitasking and so much information, it's crazy like to see people focusing on one single source for like 45 minutes or 50 minutes. In a way, the room asks for this, you know? Barcelona is quite a fast and noisy city. So it's nice to have a space where you can engage in conversation and relax and listen to good music. We have listening booths where you can grab any of the records we have on display and uh, listen to the record while you drink your coffee. 
10 at night, we would dim the lights down, turn the volume a little higher, and have uh, listening sessions, and have selectors invited to, to share music. The first sound system that we installed is placed in the roof and it breaks the traditional concept of stereo but pours the sound from above on a 360 radius and this gives us a sound that is nicely spread across the room. People can chat, but the music is always present. It's not background music. You can always tell what music is playing and appreciate the detail. And then we contact Klipsch. It's a famous brand from the original loft parties by David Mancuso in uh, New York. They are very nice sound, very balanced and warm, and we are happy with this combination. There's one thing, it's a display that says now playing, so even people who are shy to ask, they can just know what's playing at that particular moment. We want to share the music so people can discover. We don't like to pretend or try to be exclusive about the music and hide the secret records that we have. We are not into that kind of thing. These are Klipsch La Scala. I believe they're from the mid 70s, these ones. These are paired with a custom-made sound system. I think there's a, like a more like genuine interest on sound now and like quality. The idea of surrendering not only to sound but to like the programming, you sort of create this inertia with people where maybe most of the times you don't know which artist is playing, but like they come regardless of if they know who the artist is. Like embracing a musical offer you're not aware of, taking that risk and discovering something in a more like wild way, you know, like letting yourself go.